Converting um, decimal base 10 to binary base 2. So your calculator cannot do this. At least mine can't. Um, I have the uh, FX115 and I cannot convert um, fractions uh, into binary at all. It doesn't take it at all. So you would have to do it by hand. And um, the way I would do this particular one is to look at the answer. So this is the part where looking at your answers before you solve the problem helps. Because either, either you know, you could basically start saying, okay, 93 divided by 102, this gives you, uh, let me use a, this is 0.72. 65625 six, Now if you start from here and try to work um, your binary it's going to take a while so just look at the answers and see here if you look at the answers um, A through C you see that um, the only difference here is the last two digit okay so everything else is the same except the last two digits so if either one of these okay so um, your first uh, uh, binary digit is one half because remember you had a um, you had a, like two to the power zero, two to the power one, two to the power two, all the way to two to the power seven. So this is one twenty eight. Now when you have fraction instead of this, you will have one over. So you will have um, one half. One fourth, because this is the point zero, so that goes away. So you start here at two to the power one, one eighth, one sixteen, thirty two, sixty four, and one twenty eight. Okay. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then your this is point zero. So now you have seven here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So they counted um, the point five. So you have point five plus one fourth is a zero, so that doesn't count. One eighth is um, point one. So let me let me put a zero there so you kind of see it. Oops. I always get these colors wrong. All right. Okay. So let me put a zero there so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. So you're not adding uh, 0.25 because what well, is the zero here already? So that it, they didn't count it. Remember, we're looking at the answers and seeing a pattern here. So they all have the same thing except the last two digits. So we're not worried about them. So this is a zero plus one eighth is 0.125. One sixteen is 0 0.065. 0 0.0 Six two five one thirty two is point zero three one five three one two five. Now I'm either either adding so this whole thing is equal to it's gotta be less than this point seven two. So let's just put it in the calculator. Point five plus point one twenty five plus point zero six two five plus point zero three one two five. This is equal to seven one eight seven five. Now I need a little bit just to get here. Okay, so what's um one six four 
so 164 is let me put it here 164 is point zero one five six two five now if I add this would it give me this yes or no let's see so that plus point seven one eight seven five it's more so here would be a zero because if I add this to here it will give me 0.73 I need 0.72 so obviously this answer is gone I mean this answer is gone and this is gone so what I need to worry about is whether or not the last digit is a zero or one okay so should I add 128? Of course you should because I have 0.71875. So let's see what's 1 divided by 128. That's um, 0.0078125. Let's add that here and see if we have this. So plus 0.72, oh, excuse me, 71. 875. Yep, so I get the exact same answer. So I skipped this and then I got 128. From here, anyway, you could have got the answer already because you know you have to add something because you have 0.71. So you add a little bit of it, which is this instead of that. This is 1 over 64, so that's a 0. So if you add these two, you get exactly um, 0.7265625, which is the decimal point. So your answer is clearly B. That's it. Now, um, I guess the other method will be if you don't want to look at the answers first and you want to work them out, you would just do this, do um, do the same thing. Uh, I guess yeah you'll do the same thing uh, but I think it will take a little longer because you'd have to add subtract add subtract just to get because you would have to start from the beginning because you would need these but if you just look at the answers you know that the only difference here is the last two digits and you don't have to worry about the rest at all okay so that's it if you have any questions let me know thank you